right, two more to load. The four. The two ready. Christian DeOro should set the pace in here, yes. but she's a big long shot, even with Steve Asmussen and Joel Rosario in her corner. With the call of the Fairgrounds Oaks, we send it to track announcer John G. Dooley. They're off in the 2023 Fairgrounds Oaks presented by Fazek Tipton and Christian Doro broke short. South Lawn is off the pace. It's Christian Doro in the yellow cap. Hoosier Philly strides up on the outside here and the early going to engage Christian Doro as they round the first turn seven for longs to go. Pretty mischievous in the Godolphin blue gallops along in third with the Ellis look in fourth and South Lawn with the rail. As these three row Phillies go to the back of the track, it's Christian Doro, who's the leader here for Joel Rosario, leading a close up. Hoosier Philly, who's right there for Eka Morales, the opening quarter for the 29 to 1 leader, Christian Doro. In 23.65 seconds, they have five furlongs to run in the fairground zones. It's Christian Doro with Hoosier Philly, the favorite, right there, too. South Lawn of the white cap comes up the rail now for Raylo Gutierrez as a share of third with Pretty Mischievous. The untappable and Rachel Alexandra stakes winner fourth on the outside for Brian Hernandez Jr. And with Luis Saez, the Alice look trails the quintet, a half mile in 47.20 seconds. They round the far turn. And here's Hoosier Philly, who's taken the lead as Pretty Mischievous now comes to take on Hoosier Philly as these Phillies come toward the quarter pole. With between horses, Southlawn starting a bid. Christian Doro led, but has dropped back. The Alice look on the far outside. They come for home. It's Pretty Mischievous. She's taking the lead from Hoosier Philly. Charging now is Southlawn. The Alice look on the far outside. And dropping back was Christian Doro. It's Pretty Mischievous to catch. One for long to go. Pretty Mischievous, but here comes Southlawn, who's rattling home for the meet's leading rider, Brando Gutierrez. Southlawn has taken the lead. Southlawn's racing away. Southlawn and the Fairgrounds Oaks by three. Well, well, well. We thought it might come down to pretty mischievous. Perhaps Hoosier Philly comes back, but no, it is the one in Southlawn, Jerry. Norm Cassie gets a great stace win here. She's on her way to the Kentucky Oaks. Comes off an eight-length win in the allowance race. The only other time she was in a graded stakes was at Churchill Downs. She was beaten 13 lengths, but certain that was last fall. That's certainly an improvement as she runs wins her second race of this year. And here's the backstory: Tyler Gaffleone, who was riding in Dubai today, rode her in a race at Churchill Downs last September. He rode her again in a race at Churchill Downs last November, and he came back both times and told trainer Norm Cassie. I thought I had a lot of horse, and then she started making funny noises. So they had her checked out. She had a throat breathing issue, minor throat surgery before her last race. They didn't know exactly how much of a difference he was going to make. She went by eight lengths in her only start so far before this after the minor throat surgery. Sometimes that's kind of an excuse, and you don't, don't know how much to believe, but clearly it has made a big difference. With South Lawn. And she had zero points coming into this race, so now she's mm. on to the Kentucky Oaks. Pretty mischievous for a second. She already had 63 points, so she, if she chooses, can go on and run. She'll qualify for the Kentucky Oaks. A beautiful trip for Hoosier Philly. You could not have drawn it up better on the board for, the, for jockey Edgar Morales. Just came up completely empty. She has been a huge disappointment right now for Tom Amos. So we're seeing South Lawn, the one, take off. We're seeing the exact opposite for the five in Hoosier Philly. Yeah, and another little interesting subplot here. You know, Norm Cassie, just in the last couple of years, has gone out on his own. He was working for his father, uh, uh, Mark Cassie. Mark Cassie. Mark Cassie has one of the best three-year-old fillies in the country in Wonder Wheel, who won the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Fillies last fall. She's going to run in the Ashland on uh, the day before the Bluegrass. So uh, Norm told me. A few weeks ago, he would love nothing more than to be his dad in the Kentucky Oaks. Well, what you just saw right now, because you look at the numbers, this is a horse that went one for five as a two-year-old, but this, as you mentioned, had maybe issues breathing, now yeah. a completely different horse. I mean, from the looks of it, does South Lawn have a chance? Perhaps. She fits, absolutely. All right. She fits in this one for sure. Congratulations to the one in South Lawn and all the connections with that horse. Two huge derby prep races still to come.